Hey guys, your test tomorrow is at 8 a.m. in the LGI. I'll be at school by 7 a.m. and I'll have some like little treats and goodies for you in the morning. Uh, so if you come by my room at 7 a.m., um, you can get something to eat. Just keep in mind, um, regardless of however you think you're gonna do tomorrow, we practiced really, really hard and all of this work was so that we would have a plan. As ridiculous as we might look trying to do our plan, make sure you go into the test with a plan, right? I'd recommend, even if you are really, really good at the mathematics, that you kind of wait to the end on those, right? You skip that, the mathematical parts right away, especially on the multiple choice. Remember on the multiple choice, you have about 50 seconds per question. So get through all the ones that are just uh, non-mathematical first. You can go back at the end and spend time on that, unless you're feeling super confident that you can get them the first time around. Um, remember to pick your favorite letter if you start running out of time. Keep track of your time. Um, don't skip around. Do not skip letter choice. Don't zigzag on the on the on the scantron. Okay. Do not do that. Remember, it's like being lost in the woods. You have to stay put. Staying put on your answer document is picking the same letter down. The exception to that, of course, is if you can't or if you can eliminate your favorite letter. Okay. Well, there's a yapping dog in the background. It's awesome. So just remember, go in with your game faces on just like this and um, have a plan. All of our preparation is so that you would stay out of jail, right? You want to stay out of prison because these are the, these are the things that happen to you in prison. The Dementors, right? The Dementors, they suck the life out of you. So listen to Prison Mike here. And remember that I am likely very proud of you. I'm not crying, it's just really hot outside. Okay? Just keep that in mind. All right, guys, so remember 7 a.m. tomorrow, I'll be at, on campus if you have any other questions. Um, another idea, too, this, I mean, at this point, you just need to come up with a strategy that is good for you, right? So however you decide to approach it, just make sure that you approach it in the way that makes sense to you. But remember, like, questions like identify are literally just one sentence. Um, but just be careful that this isn't an identify and explain. This is not just one sentence, right? So be very careful if it says identify and explain. So if you just wanted to go through your FRQ and find all the identifies first, you could just do those because that's a good portion of the points. Remember, we're trying to get anything over 20 on the FRQ, and you're trying to get around 55 to 60 of them right on the multiple choice, and you should be in the clear. So just keep those things in mind. All right, guys, good luck. Have a good sleep. Don't try to cram tonight because I don't know how much more it'll help you. Just um, try to be try to be resolved with what you know, and try to activate that information tomorrow as best you can. So sleep well. Bye.